Craft Ecu the Creator and today I am sharing a process video for Craft Roulette episode 116. I wrote out the parameters and my ideas of how to incorporate them on my very fancy notepad that I designed myself. I love the long form Fleming go to give a stamp set and knew straight away this would be the bird I would choose. I went for pinks in a flowering field and so my Copic colour palette was simple. Colours can be seen on the screen. I also stamped a graduation cap from my flamingo because, why not, to give this card a graduation theme. The sentiment is brilliant, you will see that soon. a coordinating dies to cut out the flamingo as I find it cuts better than I could with fussy cutting and then I cut the cap by hand. I dress the flamingo in its cap using liquid glue. Special announcement. The Craft Acula Creator, that is me, Vicky Ruta, will be appearing as a special guest on Craft Roulette on their YouTube channel on 30th of June 2023. This will air at 6.30pm Central Time in the US or 12.30am in the UK on July 1st. But what is Craft Roulette, I hear you ask? Craft Roulette is the ultimate paper crafting game show challenge where the goal is to complete a project that has been randomly selected by the spin of a wheel. There are four categories to spin for, project, colour, element and random. Guest crafters and craftettes make a pro card project live on the show alongside Mary Gunfun, the intrepid hostess. Guests will also answer questions and talk about their own personal crafting journeys. The question is, will I be team purple or team orange? Tune in to find out. Well, what did you think of that announcement? I am so incredibly excited about being a special guest crafter on Craft Roulette on June 30th, 1st of July for me. The special guest behind me is my husband and yes, it was very hard for me to keep a straight face. It took a few takes to film that, I can tell you. Back to the crafting. I stamped the word flaming go onto a pre-cut flat banner and on screen now you can see me use the banner die again to cut it to the length I want it. I also stamped the first part of the sentiment, oh the place is your, on a banner strip. I wanted to pretty the banners up a little so I dusted the edges of the thin banner with Kitsch Flamingo Distress Oxide and then fully blended the wider strip with the same ink. I got too far into the voiceover for this to edit the way I said flamingo and so it could be either flamingo or flamingo, depends which way you look at it. everything out to see how it looks and I like it. I glued the long form white wood grain cardstock to the long form older dots pink paper which I'd previously cut and scored. And then I glued down the sentiment and the flamingo.
fold card features a flap that is usually stapled. Other than that, it's very similar to a top folding card. I used my stapler here and then quickly realised that the top half was a little on the long side, so I trimmed it down to fit. Just a little at a time, checking in between, as I have learnt the hard way that you can cut something short easily, but it's very hard to make it long again. The final touch is adding the wider sentiment to the staple part. See what I mean about that sentiment? It really is quite fabulous. Ready for it? Ta-da! Oh, I'll be able to do that live on the 30th of June. I really love this card and I feel that I can relate to that sweet flamingo who is definitely going places as I feel the same with my crafting journey. Thank you so much for watching and please remember to like and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Ta-ta for now everyone. Take care and I will be back soon.